And we start with the Legacy Sabres, a team that missed the tournament a year ago, but now back in the big dance. Hopes of making some noise in Fargo. The Sabres fell hard in the semifinals against Century in a game where nothing seemed like it could go right in the WDA tournament. But they fought back in a big way in the elimination game, shooting nearly 70% from the floor. If you want a definition of lights out shooting, it was definitely the case. It also seems like as the season gone, has gone on, the Sabres have found more of their depth. The effort defensively has been changed, has really changed things for this team. Coach Jason Horner saying, it's amazing what happens on offense when you're locked in defensively. A big reason they're heading to Fargo next week. Well, we're really balanced and, and it's just not the five starters and stuff. Like, you know, like Braxton Wordler just stepping in and hitting a big three when we needed it. You don't have to make a million plays for your team. You just, not, you just need to make the right play at the right time when your team needs you. I think we uh, we played as a team really well, and that I think we learned to play as a team at the perfect time, and that's exactly what we needed to do. And uh, our zone defense, our coaches do up a great game plan to uh, zone them up, and I think that worked excellent. Obviously, it's super exciting because that's what we want to do since we started like the year. And, I mean, we're just going to go out and play with our hearts. Here's the Sabres tournament profile. They go into the state tournament with a 14 and tier 10 record. So they're going back for the first time since 2021 to the tournament while still searching for that first state championship as a team. It's tough to single out a single kid on the Sabres team, but we'll give the distinction to Parker Falcon coming off of an 18 point performance against Mandan to send his team to state. The 6'4 forward can score from anywhere on the floor. His length providing great defense on the other end. Legacy will need him if they have hopes of advancing.